Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at the .net. You know the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here again at the Hot Stage Warehouse, Fremont, California, getting ready for the big show at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center, Las Vegas, 2010. I'm here with Mitch Malilai from Polycom, who is, uh, well, he's going to show us these uh, cool little pieces of tech. Mitch, what do you got? Well, today we have the Polycom Business Media VVX 1500D, uh, D representing the dual stack capabilities of the device. Um, we've been known predominantly as a SIP voice, uh, Soundpoint IP uh, phone provider. Uh, well, the VVX is actually bridging the gap between our, our video and voice business units. Um, so by having the dual stack, we basically now can register to a SIP platform as well as uh, H323 Gatekeeper, uh, providing us with the true video uh, conferencing capabilities with any legacy H323 endpoint or our RMX bridges, as well as a true SIP uh, SIP endpoint that we've become to, uh, to be known by, as well as supporting SIP video in a peer-to-peer -peer basis. Well, this seems like a natural evolution because for the longest time you've been one of the players in VoIP. You've got the high-definition voice, you've got a feature set that's incredibly rich, and that's uh, a configuration that's easy and portable, and you've also had some incredibly nice high-end video conferencing gear. Right. You're saying you've put them together now. Well, this is the first bridge product between the both, both business units at Polycom. So it's definitely delivering all our expertise within the SIP, um, SIP voice capabilities, mm -hmm. as well as, yes, our expertise on the video conferencing end. And that's the D. And that's, this that's would be the, the dual stack. Yep. All right, so let's get past a, a little bit of the marketing speak and tell me, what kind of features do I expect on my VVX 1500D? Well, m people can expect the same functionality as a Soundpoint. It's, it's based on the same software base, the boot ROM right. and firmware. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you can see, we have other built-in applications uh, this application that we have is basically a digital photo frame which are just scrolling through JPEG images off the USB flash stick, um, presenting it to you on a 7-inch touchscreen display. This is beautiful, by the way. I mean, you may not be able to see it right unless you're seeing this in the high-definition version, but it's a gorgeous display. It is. It's producing um, SIF resolution for on the video end. Mm -hmm. um, basic bandwidth requirements are about 384K mm -hmm. on a video call. And I see you've made it completely adjustable. It's a completely adjustable screen, not to mention the camera within this area here. Oh, yeah. Has an adjustment that. reel here for the tilting capabilities. A privacy screen. For the early morning calls. The early morning. Uh, or yeah. late night calls. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, the, uh, within the base, a fully adjustable base uh, for the device itself. So we can get it propped up high, depending on the user's preference, or as low as uh, this where it's nice. currently sitting. Well, that just strikes me as something that's very polycom in that you've paid attention to the, the little things. You, know, mm -hmm. you guys have obviously put some thought into the design. They didn't just cram a camera into a VoIP phone. You know, everything from the adjustable stand to the adjustable screen to the rubber feet, right. it's, it's designed to make it not just a good piece of technology, but it's, it's a functional piece of technology. Yeah, we've actually ran the phone through uh, several trials to get to where we're at today. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're very proud of the, uh, the form factor and the design. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, most of the user acceptance has also agreed to that. Right. Oh, and something else i got to add in this. This kind of blew me away. You've got all of this functionality, the big 7-inch screen, uh, you know, voice and video built into the same phone, and yet you're powering this off a standard PoE. This is just one cable here. Right. There's no adapter. How are you able to do that? Uh, the engineers have done some amazing things. Polycom voodoo. <laughs> I knew it. It's black magic. Now, one of the things that I really liked about your line of VoIP phones, the ones that you've brought to Interop in the past, it has been the micro browser that you built in. Um, right. Is that going to continue with the 1500? Yes, that, that definitely continues. The uh, VVX 1500D is built on the same software that's driving our Soundpoint IP product line. So the micro browser is there. Um, we're allowing the end customer or the end user to really limit their own selves through their creativity, uh, whether it's applications that they write in house or utilize through some other uh, application vendor. We actually are building a uh, ecosystem of, of uh, developers. So again, the micro browser allows us to do simple things. For example, at Interop last year, we we're pushing the content of the various sponsored logos right. um, onto the onto the, the the desktop. All right. So that's some of the, the the cooler features, some of the more uber geek features. But of course, if it's a video phone, I need to know how do I place a video call? Show me. Right. So it's a again, it's a video phone. It is a seven-inch touchscreen. I'm just turning this phone around so I could go ahead and make a call. Um, I have a speed dial on the screen in itself, so I'm just going to invoke that. That places the call to this device. We're just answering it on headset mode so we don't get the feedback. Um, but it's simple as a one-touch dial if you have a speed dial already set up. Um, we're already engaged in a video call here. 
Robert's going to touch the screen to maximize the display. That is pretty cool. I, I like you can switch back and forth between self view and remote view, and you can zoom it all in and out without having to touch one of the keys at the bottom. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Um, full capabilities with the soft keys below. If you want to maximize the display, you can get the full screen there. <laughs> and, and literally give you that full video conferencing capabilities. Uh, one thing I like about this is uh, uh, I just dialed into my RMX bridge the other week and we had our, our team call and we had over 16 users. And through our RMX bridge I could literally function or scroll through the uh, display functions and pick whatever format I wanted. And I literally had 16 private video streams <laughs> within the display. You know, it's not the greatest form factor or display size for each person, but it definitely has that capability. Um, not only that, through the bridge, you can also push data content. So I was able to see the, uh, the slide deck that was being presented as well. Again, probably not the best form factor, but we have that capability within this device. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, if I'm just doing a point to point, if mm -hmm. I'm just calling someone else, this is all I need, right? Just the two phones. Absolutely. But you mentioned the bridge, so I can conference in more streams if I want to. Right, so that really makes, takes advantage of the, the dual stack capabilities. Mm -hmm. Once you configure the phone, uh, or provision the phone properly to register with a gatekeeper, that, uh, that opens the door to other video formats that the device can actually present to the user. So yeah, a single peer-to-peer -peer call we can establish, set video or H.2.3.3, uh, but the full video presentation capabilities are even more uh, uh, taking advantage of from a, from a bridging perspective. A big question for you. I've seen phones kind of like this, you know, that have integrated the video and the voice and done it actually pretty well but most of those have used some sort of proprietary codec or you know they lock you into that product it will only interoperate with another product from right. the same vendor of the same series even right am i going to run into that problem with polycom no you shouldn't in fact um, polycom made its name for itself by adhering to open standards so all our devices here from the sip sip standpoint as well as video we adhere to open standards uh, h323 um, delivering the full potential of interoperating with a host of platforms. Yeah. Uh, for example, from our voice perspective, we interoperate with over 32 call control platforms. And, you know, Polycom isn't in the business of becoming a call control platform manufacturer or, um, uh, you know, to take away from that market. We, we literally uh, just build a manufactured endpoint whether or not you choose, it with, choose to use it with uh, a hosted platform or an IPPX platform we probably have the largest portfolio of interop partners to uh, pick from. Right. Well, I mean, I know Polycom has 30 plus partners right. in, in the real world, and including Siemens, which is the uh, the official voice provider of right. the show. So, I mean, it, it strikes me that your strategy is, is well, you know, it, it's not monop monopolistic. You, you no. really want the customer to choose your phone because it's the best for their application, not because they're locked into your technology. Right. I mean, I think uh, the industry yeah. has proven that the open standard Route is the uh, the correct way to go. Uh, we pride ourselves on our audio capability, and we're just opening up the doors to interrupt with uh, as much platforms as we possibly can. Again, we have over 32 certified, mutually recognized platforms, but there's a host of others that we know we interoperate with. Just from a support perspective, we haven't officially certified it yet. So you're selling a solution, not a product. Not a problem. Exactly. Okay. Now, if they want to find out more about the VVX 1500D or any of your other products, mm -hmm. where should they go? Go to www.polycom.com, uh, navigate to the product voice pages. Um, again, this is listed under our business media aspect, uh, but you'll also find from the voice perspective uh, additional information on the Soundpoint IPs, the Soundstation IP conference phones, our Spectralink Wi Fi handsets, as well as our Kirk decked handsets. Fantastic. Well, Mitch. Thank you very much. Father Outstanding Robert. product. Hopefully we'll see more of them. And you stay tuned because we're going to bring you more interrupt goodness from Hot Stage, Fremont, California. And there's no Uber Geek without you.